Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and I make these videos because running the business is hard, and waking up every day and getting to work when you're all by yourself is hard. And the thing that saved me, that continues to inspire me, motivate me, give me hope, inspiration, ideas, is looking at the stories of people who've done a lot more than me, and I learn strategies, I get motivation, and it gets me to believe in myself to go off and attack the day. And so I hope this video inspires you to do the same as well. So today let's use some AI tools to grow your business. Enjoy. The yeah. tool is incredibly good. There's four things that the generator fill is really good at. Removing objects, adding objects, creating backgrounds, and cool. expanding images. I'm gonna use the rectangular marquee tool, but with any selection, you can just click and drag over an image. You get this little hovering window here. If you don't see it, you can go into window and then go all the way down to where it says contextual taskbar to enable it. Also side note, if you wanted to, you can go into edit and choose generator fill and then use this window here, mm. or right click on the selection and choose generator fill. You can click on the three dot icon here and select pin bar position. So the bar will always stay there. Oh, and you can move it around at this point. Too, right, exactly. Nice. So I can move it here and then pin it to say the top. Now that I have a selection active, I can input a prompt and I can literally put anything. Wouldn't it be cute if we had maybe like a sleeping fluffy cat and I can oh, click on yes. generate and we're gonna hopefully get a cat Make sleeping. Make a cute kitty. A cute kitty. It's a giant cat. <laughs> it is a giant cat. <laughs> the cool thing about the generator AI is that it matched the light the perspective, the shadows, even a little bit of that reflection there under yes. the cat, which is just incredible. Wow. And also in the properties panel, you have three variations right here and you can click on the one. Oh my God, that's a big cat, but it's a <laughs> cute looking cat. It's just amazing how realistic this looks. I didn't really do much work when you do the generative fill, it fills in all the pixels inside of that selection. So it actually generated the floor as well. You don't get transparency. At this point, if you wanted to, like you mentioned the cat was a little too big, so we wanna make it smaller, press Control T to transform, but when we do that, we get the same issue that I was talking about earlier with the background. You can see that the background is there, but if you ever transform and move the cat to another location, when you click on these generative fill layers, they open up this section here in the properties panel that shows you the prompt that you used, and you can just click on the generate button again. Unfortunately, it will not generate the same cat again. It'll generate a whole new set of cats, but in the Ooh, right perspective, in it, the right scale. In the right, yeah, the right. right scale, the right size. You still have the other variations, but they're using the previous uh -huh. background, which will not work, but then you have a whole new set of cats. Tool number two is Adobe Firefly. How to use Adobe Firefly. It is our new tool for enabling you to use everyday language to generate extraordinary new content. Text to image. This is where you describe in natural language or in prompts how to generate an image. You could try any one of these prompts. This one is really fun. What did it take to make that? We'll click on that. Five words. Fairy house in the woods. Let's go ahead and make a steampunk version of this. Adds it right down here and then I'll click generate. It will generate sort of steampunk version of this. We could add more to this. Inside a tree in the dark woods. Let's just try that. Here it is in a tree at this point. Oh, much better. From there, I can take this and I can download this image. It adds content credentials, just FYI. This was AI generated. I didn't make this in Photoshop. I didn't paint it. I don't claim to do any of that stuff. I just claim to write the prompt. That's all this is essentially saying. It applies it, it downloads the credentials. If you're interested, we can go to content authenticity forward slash inspect. When we drag this into this URL, this is all the metadata. This was created in Firefly 1.0. I'm gonna turn on content credentials. It's gonna attach all my information. Take this and I'll drag it in here. Now it's in Photoshop. Let's go to preview. We could see my information, but if you scroll down, this shows this asset has attribution and history data. I wanna do gold and black flower pattern. Check this out, generate. It actually made this repeating pattern. Let's convert this to uh, define this as a pattern. There's our pattern. Let's just see how it worked out. Let's go into our patterns right down here. Let's click on that. It made a pattern. We do have some ridges in there, which I'm not crazy about. Right here, it looks like we're off a little bit. Let's turn this one on. Almost makes a perfect pattern. Some little spots right there, but overall pretty good. Let's adjust the scale of this beautiful woman. So let's talk about people. Here's what it generates for people. It actually does a pretty good job. So 
so far. Gold and black wings, highly detailed, full body. So this is what I'm going for, like this just gorgeousness. I'm gonna download it. Face gets a little funky, or just using these as a way to kind of storyboard. My subject matter will sometimes determine the aspect ratio, but that's 1024 by 1024. If we go to widescreen, widescreen's gonna give me more resolution. This is just a good like concept that I wanna use for my design. Tool number three, one of my personal favorites, is Midjourney. I recently began exploring the world of AI art with Midjourney. It's an online tool that can bring anything from your imagination to life, no matter how surreal or abstract. If you're new to AI art, Midjourney is perhaps the best rated for creating visual art. You enter a series of prompts and the AI will do its best to depict your written command. It can generate a wide range of art styles, from painterly effects to hyper-realistic renders. Midjourney is a bot that runs on the chat platform Discord, so you first need to set up an account there, then join the Midjourney server via the Midjourney website. Here's where you can see all kinds of weird and wonderful creations from the Midjourney community. To create your own piece, enter one of the newbies groups. Add your own job to the constant stream of activity by typing forward slash imagine, followed by a brief description of your idea such as cute panda wearing a baseball cap. The mid-journey bot will get to work generating your images, but you'll soon discover that this public group is way too hectic. You'll quickly lose your place in the conveyor belt of thousands of requests and results. If you scroll up again, you can look out for your own entry being highlighted with a yellow background, but it'll still disappear again within seconds. Instead, click the little inbox icon in the top right, and you'll find an option to jump to your most recent result. You can now adore your randomly generated images of cute pandas wearing baseball caps in a grid of four squares. Each result is unique. Some may be exactly what you had in mind, others might be nothing like you wanted. This guy is pretty cute. Tool number four is 11 Labs. To start turning text into speech, head to the 11 Labs homepage. You can click on the card in the top right hand corner, or you can also click on the link down below in the description. Right here on the homepage, you don't even have to set up an account. You can just type in some text, and right here, you can select a voice to narrate that text. Here you have all of these different pre-made voices. Once you finish setting up your account, here we drop into speech synthesis, and this is where we can type in some text and it'll generate speech based on that text. The benefit of going through an account is you get a much larger quota to convert text into speech. Right up above, just like we saw on the homepage, here you could select one of these voices. And here you could even preview what these voices sound like by clicking on the preview icon. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. You could go through and listen to all the different options. Below that, you also have voice settings. And here you could adjust things like the stability. If you go down to the left where it's more variable, this will cause the voice to sound more expressive. Here, you could also modify the clarity and similarity enhancement. You could try adjusting these different values to see how that affects the voice. Down below, here's where you can type in your text. And the more text you type in, the better the model will work. And the reason why is it adjusts the delivery based on the context of the text. Here, for instance, I'll type in text. Unfortunately, I have some bad news to report. So it's bad news, so the voice will probably be a little bit more downbeat. And it'll factor that into the way it delivers the voice. And it's pretty incredible. Right down below, all I need to do is click on generate, and then we can listen to the voice. Unfortunately, I have some bad news to report. Mrs. Fields won best cookie of the year and not the Kevin Cookie Company. That sounded really human-like. I am still just blown away by how good this technology has gotten. Along with the pre-made voices, if you scroll up the page, you also have the option to add your very own voice. You can click on this, or up on top, you can click into the voice lab. Within the voice lab, you have two different options for making a new synthetic voice from scratch. Over here, you could design a voice, or you can also clone a voice. Thanks for being here, Steve. Let's start with this. I think the world's biggest problem is that people don't believe in themselves. What do you think and how do we solve this problem? I agree, Evan, that a lack of self-belief is a significant issue. Tool number five is Resemble AI. Over the last two years, 
Resemble has been used by more than 250,000 people to create AI-generated voices from bots to ads, fashion shows, and even an Emmy-nominated Netflix documentary called The Andy Warhol Diaries. Our users have crafted beautiful voiceovers in seconds, and we've come up with new ways to create content that sounds even more real. That's why we're proud to introduce arguably the most impactful feature for generative audio. We call it speech to speech. Let me show you what I mean. At the moment, you might be familiar with typing in a sentence and hitting the play button. Hope that worked out. If not, you have a few options. That sounds good, but my friend Liz wanted to say it slightly differently. Let's upload how she wanted to say it. Hope that worked out. If not, you have a few options. And let's generate this in Robert's voice. Hope that worked out. If not, I have a few options. We can use this to create AI voiceovers that truly match human-like performances, including all of the um, imperfections of human speech. You can apply any voice skin to your voice. Like an angry, aggressive voice that means business. Or super friendly, like my colleague Tanya. Or a whispering voice for when you want to be secretive. Speech to speech works in real time, which means I can replace my voice with another while talking. This is great for immersive applications that require fast speech generation. This works across all of Resemble AI's voices with stunning results in any voice imaginable. This opens up all sorts of possibilities for gaming, film, advertisement, and narrations. Tool number six is Sound Draw. So you just finished making the dopest YouTube video ever. You edit it, you throw your favorite song with that sick beat drop in the background of your video, and you upload. Everything's good, right? No, YouTube just threw you a copyright notice for using Drake's Tusi slide without permission. You don't want it to turn into a copyright strike because three strikes and uh, Yes, if you get three strikes in three months, YouTube can permanently disable your account or stop you from monetizing your account. But good thing you won't ever have to deal with that because SoundRaw is bringing you high quality, royalty free, AI produced, customizable music that you can put in the background of your YouTube or your commercial videos. No need to download any software or have any experience with the Beatmaker. SoundRaw makes it easy for you by allowing you to find a genre that matches your video, choose how fast or slow you want the track, choose how long you want your music to play, and then customize it to your liking. Tool number seven is the script. The thing I love about surfing is it never stops challenging you. It's a journey through the waves, but also through your very soul. These nuggets are um, made from chicken. Manatees are the Cadillac of marine mammals. Just wanted to welcome you to the team with this little video. You need to capture your screen while recording yourself? The script does that. Um, 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 emulate the taste of, like, like, non-chicken nuggets. Yeah, I went too far. Okay. So, these nuggets are made from chicken, but they're made to emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. Dope. Oh, that's much better. Then edit all the blather out of your videos, because my time is very precious. Oh, that's fire. It's been said that manatees are the Cadillac of marine mammals. Perfecto. Can you fix the color while you're there? Make it less teal and more... Cerulean? Sure. <laughs> it needs more style. It needs more clips, more gifts, more more. Replace your background with something more fun? I prefer the cold void of outer space. Let's boost that sound quality. Emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. Emulate the taste of non-chicken nuggets. Dope. The thing I love about surfing is it's a journey through the waves. It never stops challenging you. Well, I might have made it too gnarly. Sounds tasty. It's a real movie, Rhonda. Yeah. Tool number eight is Pictory AI.
I'm going to show you a quick demo of Pictory. We'll walk through a couple of different use cases. The first use case is where we have a video that we want to start with and we want to create highlights of the video. So you drag and drop a video here and you would upload it to Pictory. And uh, what Pictory does when you upload the video is it actually runs the video through a transcription step and you can see the transcript of the video right here that is automatically created and you'll see the video right here and you can browse through the video by searching for the transcript parts of the transcript and uh, one of the simple things that you might want to do before you create the highlights is you may want to remove sections of the video that that uh, that you that you don't want to include in the highlights at all so here's i i search for canada and and i'm going to select this whole sentence and remove it from the video so this deletion not just deletes it from the transcript it actually deletes it from the from the video. So you can delete sentences from the video. You can also delete words. You can say, hey, I don't, I don't wanna say Americans here, I can delete Americans. So again, that word is gone from the video. Uh, then I can remove these filler words like us and ums, and I can just press this button to remove the filler words. So all the filler words are gone from the video. You see the video already is down uh, several seconds uh, from our original uh, length. Now I say I wanna further select the highlights so you can use ai to select the highlights of the video you can say hey i want a 10 percent of the original video selected as my highlight and so I, I run the highlighting algorithm through it and it picks out from the transcript key sentences that our ai thinks are the best representation of this video so it's picked out about five sentences I can say, hey, I don't want to include this. This is talking about hockey and, and I don't want to include that, but I want to include this because this, this provides context to the to what he's what he's talking about. And, and now I have about a 56 second version of that uh, four minute uh, press conference and, and I can move on to the next step, next step. Now we can choose whether we want to include uh, the subtitles on the on the video whether we want to burn them in or not we can also add brand settings so we can say on every scene include a logo also i can uh, include an outro scene which is the final call to action to my video and i can have an intro uh, included as a standard or i can create an intro custom to my uh, specific video and then finally we would generate a video and it would generate this one highlight video, which is, uh, as I showed, 56 seconds long with about uh, six independent uh, sentences. It would also be able to generate six individual 15 to 20 second videos, each with these sentences that we, that we selected. So number nine is Jasper. Hey champ, how's that blog post coming? Great, really great. Almost too great. Great. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> Can't wait to write it. You need a little inspiration. Jasper is here to help. It's an app that uses AI to help you create any kind of content you need. It's like having your very own robot sidekick with an infinite supply of ideas. And that's why the perfect pair of socks is like a hug for your feet. Hot damn, that's good. Headlines, articles, images, anything, everything. Jasper, I need some caption ideas for our Instagram. Like a lot of them. You got it. These are so good. I could kiss you, but I won't. Dear customer, it looks like your account problem is user error. It's a little confrontational. What if we lighten it up a little bit? Jasper can fine tune the voice and tone of your writing. Sorry to hear about the problems with your account. I'll make sure everything goes smoothly. Smiley face. Nice. Jasper, could I get that in Italian? Naturalmente. Sweet. Blog post is done in record time. Now I just need some images for it. Jasper can even generate custom art based on your prompts. Get images of literally anything you can think of in seconds. You finished all those articles already? Just felt inspired? Jasper learns how humans create by consuming the internet. It gives Jasper endless options, and that means it can create original content without plagiarizing anything. Now, you'll always have the content you need in whatever style you want. 
This post is incredible, and so you. Would you like a ridiculously huge promotion? I would be okay with that. Who's your little friend? I'm Jasper. Nobody. And tool number 10, the last one before some very special bonus clips, is D.I.D. Welcome to D.I.D. Studio. I was created today to give you a quick walkthrough of this groundbreaking tool. Once you've logged in, you'll see some pre-made avatars you can instantly use. All of them have been created perfectly to allow the eyes to blink and the lips to move correctly. Let's give it a try. To make one of the avatars talk, just type something into the little text box over here. Then use the voices menu to choose a voice that sounds good to you. Hi, I'm Cora. Robots fascinate Hi, I'm Cora. Robots fascinate me. I bet a robot's favorite music is heavy metal. Ha ha ha, Cora made a human joke. Okay, so then, to make Cora talk, just push this generate video button and wait a few seconds. Hi, I'm Cora. Robots fascinate me. I bet a robot's favorite music is heavy metal. It's that fast and that easy. Because you made it this far in a video, I want to celebrate you. Most people start and don't finish. Most people never actually follow through. Most people say they want something, but they don't ever do the work to actually get it. But you are different. You are special. Believe Nation, you made it here all the way to the end, and I love you. So it's a special celebration if you put a hashtag believe down in the comments below on this video, I will showcase you and celebrate you somewhere on the screen in a future video because you are awesome. To see my interview with AI Steve Jobs, check the video right there next to me. I think you'll love it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. The most powerful way to address this problem is to help people develop a growth mindset. A growth mindset encourages individuals to see challenges as opportunities for growth and improvement.